This is it. This is the race between the Jaguar I-Pace and uh, the Kia Soul. <laughs> um, so uh, we are about two hours late today because um, I did a new mistake, right? So I've been slow charging the Soul to 100% and then uh, this morning I tried to top it up on the fast charger, right? I was at 97% and the charger kept like it, it kind of started and then stopped again. Every time I tried different chargers, I tried different RFID. So I was like, something wrong with this car. We, have, we can't use it. So I, I call um, Kia and they responded really quick. Within 10 minutes, they got me a new car. I was like, wow, let's go over there. So we went there to learn school nearby here. Uh, we, was, we were about to swap the cars. And then uh, one of the guys, they asked me like, could it be the 94% limit? I'm like, <laughs> oh yes. So quick explanation. Kia's, the Kia and the Ionic, they will only fast charge up to 94%. Don't ask me why. So I tried to fast charge at 97, of course it didn't work. So there's nothing wrong with the car, just something wrong with the user. <laughs> but all right, anyway, so today we will race the, the Kia and the Jag from Oslo to Trondheim and back again. Yeah, you, many of you guys know the drill. Yeah. So, uh, Pavel with Tesla jacket. <laughs> yeah, <coughs> sorry. <laughs> the, the, the Tesla jacket. Jag shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the Tesla jacket. He, he will drive the Jag and I will drive the Kia. So, Asian versus European. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, someone, someone claims that Jaguar is Indian. Oh, Tata. Oh yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, but okay, <laughs> let's not ruin that illusion. So, um, I think uh, that's it. We will. Yeah. Uh, so, as usual, uh, we will go with the traffic flow ish, like plus 10% on the speed limit. Yeah, and then hammering is allowed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when needed. <laughs> so, we have live stream going on, and we will also make this video. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, what do you think? Which car will win? I hope Jag will win. <laughs> <laughs> because I have won two times now. I can't win the third time. Yeah, also. yeah, yeah. Uh, so I'll do my best. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, may the best man or may, may the best car win. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. So let's do some preparations and then off we go. All right. So I'm charged to 97 percent right now. Uh, how much is the H back using, by the way? Power consumption. Oh, this is nice. Oh, it's using 600 watts. And the other is oh, okay. So I pull one kilowatt right now. This is the the 30 kilowatt hour version. Uh, it's supposed to have 30 kilowatt hour available energy. Uh, so the gom here says 176 kilometers. His gom probably says. Well, let me ask. Hey, power. Okay, no, he's just recording right now, but I think his gum at 100% should be like 350 something. So he has almost twice my range. Yeah. Uh, well, I think practically it's not that much. He, he, might, he might have maybe like 50% more range than me, not 100%. Um, but um, we will, of course, drive with air conditioning on. So I have set the climate to 22 degrees Celsius. We have studless winter tires on. And, oh, by the way, I should also mention something. Uh, the Jag has 19 inch wheels. Um, it, the press, this is a press car, so it came with 20 inch wheels. And then I took the liberty of <laughs> fitting it with 19 inch. So it wasn't like by the book. Uh, so it's my mistake, not Jaguar's mistake. Uh, yeah, but we needed winter tires, you know for the trip because they you know Jaguar they they didn't expect people to drive it up to the mountain they probably expected these press cars to be driven around Oslo which is still summer but you will see today that it is definitely not summer anymore in the mountains so we have uh, Nerios uh, studless tires they are superb for for wet roads and uh, snow and then I also have some Nokian studless tires in my car yeah but we will use air conditioning I have I have heat pump. The Jag also has heat pump. This one is, this car is kind of dumb. There is no heat scavenging here, whereas uh, the Jag has heat scavenging. So um, that means that he, the Jag will be able to uh, 
to reuse the heat from the motor and drive unit or whatever to heat up the cabin whereas for me uh, I only have to rely on the heat pump to get heat into the car yeah but oh, oh I have to use driver only we have to use all the dirty tricks at driver only uh, and then eco mode okay here's the eco button uh, well it's uh, it already says eco there yeah so we're gonna use eco all right and then have to reset consumption uh, the problem with this trip meter thing is that there's only one consumption number here so I have to keep resetting it because I need to know my consumption for a given stretch yeah all right but uh, I guess we are almost ready now all right we are soon ready to go um, we are at 99% uh, that's what we have now uh, GAM says 370 kilometers and we are live as well there's Bjorn in his Kia Soul the new one 30 kilowatt hours um, yeah he's preparing for uh, for the trip oh yeah we are on the move <laughs> consumption is sky high because we are climbing the mountain and uh, well, climbing a hill and it's also wet outside so yes uh, once we hammer it on the motorway the consumption will go sky high so we have uh, glimpse running we have live stream running i have manual cruise control there is no radar there is no i have no adaptive cruise control in this car i feel like this car is the underdog this car is outdated i can't even see what speed i set on the cruise control like what uh, so uh, there will be an update on the soul there will be a new soul coming out next year so uh, i'm gonna test that in korea yes yes we are finally on the road i just figure out uh, all the most important things like <laughs> lights and uh, yeah uh, auto lane uh, thingy autopilot um, yeah we are live we are at 95 percent and the consumption goes slowly down from over 308 now we are at 277 kilowatt hours per uh, 100 kilometers Bjorn is just in front of us and uh, yeah we're just cruising along with the traffic Minnesota right now. I'm a left lane hugger. That's fine because we are in Norway. My consumption is 225. I was expecting 250, so uh, slightly lower than what I thought. Okay, that is good news. I'm down to 52 uh, percent. We're just checking now with the live stream people. They are helping me. They are mission control. And uh, it's too close to stop at Espa. I estimate that I can drive another 60 kilometers. I've already done 65 kilometers so far. So on the full charge, uh, I bet I can drive about 150 kilometers in a mixed mix run. So uh, we have to go for Lurton then. Lurton will be the first charging stop. Uh, and I don't even have to look at the map. Uh, so I have, well I have a glimpse over there. I can use that one as a map. We have a small problem here. Already 18% left and had to slow down. Like seriously, why? Like miscalculated. Um, I'm now I'm risking of not making it to the to the fast chargers. I have to slow down the draft behind here. Uh, Power Liga just passed me. He's right behind me. I'm not sure why he didn't pass me yet. But I have to draft behind this truck to make it there. What the heck? Oh, man. We are now at uh, Schellöten. <laughs> we made it here with 10% left. Ooh, that was a bit scary. So uh, we see it goes up fast. Yeah, 14% already. So um, from what I heard, we have to juice it up to about 75%, 73 or 75%. So I want to keep the heater running while we are parked here. Heater is running. Okay, let's increase this one to 22 degrees Celsius. Nice and toasty in here. Uh, live stream is still running there. 
uh, Powell, Powell reported that there is schlud or snow already there where he is. What the heck? So um, first I also thought that Powell I mean, should be able to drive all the way to Alvdal, but he said that he would probably not make it to Alvdal. Let me, let me show you here. Alvdal is over there. We are here now, right? So, uh, because of the snow, he probably has to stop already around Hanestad or Koppang. And I might also go to Koppang. I have to do some calculation this time. I have to, uh, yeah, calculate stuff. Let me see, navigation, we'll figure out where to go, uh, yeah. Okay, so I went to the restroom, type 2 discharge, and then I grabbed some food. This thing here, it's it's ham from ghoul. Oh yes, well, it's just bread. It's like, it was like, gas station in Norway is like, burger, hot dog, buns. So at least this is like, the least, I mean, the least unhealthy food, right? Yeah. But uh, we're already at 48%. The stale charge goes up really quick. Uh, so we only have like five, 10 minutes left before I have to leave. Uh, and I think the next one will be, well, I can show you here. Oh, 49%, shit, that goes fast. Okay, 105 kilometers is what I should aim for. I've done the calculation now that I can average about 180 to 190 watt time per kilometer. Uh, is that plausible? Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, because now we can't drive that fast, especially this the stretch here. Is it how do you zoom out? Uh, 3D, no, let's do that. Zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. Okay, this is so responsive compared to the Jag. Uh, can we do this? No, but this is this is where that. <coughs> ah, okay, let's see. Okay, zoom out. Uh, can do that. This one. Okay, zoom out some more. There. Alright, um, let's just say how many kilometers left, no? No? No habla? 105 kilometers left, yeah, alright. Now we have to go back here to see state of charge. Well, I mean, we can see it here, of course, on the screen, but it doesn't say, it doesn't tell you how many kilowatt you're receiving. So at least the newer cars, like on uh, in Kona and Nero, you see how many kilowatt. Also in the new Leaf, yeah, 53%. Alright, let's, let's have a snack then. Okay, we just passed uh, Rena a few minutes ago. We, uh, we have a state of charge of 44% and the consumption uh, went down a bit to 267. And, uh, we're just cruising in the Jag. Yeah, the live stream is on as well. The first stop uh, for charging will be uh, Hanestad. Hanestad is about 84 kilometers away, and uh, the gun says 138. Uh, so that should be enough. Okay, uh, I look. I, I try to time how long it, one percent takes, and it seems like. Uh, up until about 82, 81, 82 percent, it's really fast. Okay, there might be a tapering off already around 75, 77, but I didn't feel it that much. But it seems like going to about 80 percent is a good deal. But now I should leave. Yes, all right, let's go. Oh, yeah, we are now on the slow stretch between uh, Lurten and uh, Elverum. Uh, the, ch the speed here is like yeah, I see 60 something kilometers per hour, but look at the consumption! <laughs> 150 watt hour per kilometer. That is numbers that Pavel would never see. Now, this is the only way for me to beat him by having higher efficiency than him because I have to charge about three times more often than him. Uh, yeah, and he had that initial buffer, you know. I started with 30 kilowatt hours energy, he started with 80 kilowatt hours, so he has a 50 kilowatt hour lead already. Uh, <laughs> so if you look on the map here, I took about half an hour, a 33 minute charging stop, uh, plus the detour time and all that. So it's like almost 40 minutes yeah, behind him. He already passed Riena. 
and I'm still not at Elverum, and now I'm stuck behind a tra uh, tractor. What? Okay, we just stopped at uh, our second uh, traffic uh, lights. There are some constructions going on here. Uh, <clears throat> I just reset uh, my treat meter and uh, a few minutes after I reset it, it showed 215 um, watt hours per kilometer in consumption. And uh, so, yeah. Our state of charge is 37% and that gives me about 118 kilometers of range. We are cruising at uh, 88 kilometers per hour and um, we have some wet road. But look here, the noise level. That's good, about 62 to 63 decibel. Um, of course, we have winter tires now, they are quiet, and also the surface here is fairly new. Like, it's like, um, it's, it's about one to two years old. So, um, hmm. Okay, we are near Kopang right now. Our state of charge is 30% and the consumption is 234 so we are getting close to Honda stop which will be the first uh, charging stop uh, we are now stopped here uh, Pavel also had to stop here I think he lost like 10 minutes or something around here there are three of these uh, stop lights and uh, I was yeah, I'm about 35, almost 40 minutes behind Powell right now. It's hard to count just by looking at the map, but he already passed Koppang. And I'm I'm 26 kilometers away from Koppang, and I have to charge there. Hmm, yeah, so uh, let's wait for the red lights, and then we can hammer it. Uh, but this will take forever. All right, we are at our first uh, charger in Hanesta. We arrived here with uh, approximately 50 kilometers left on the gun and the state of charge was at around 17%. Yeah, and we are charging. We are using the wheels from uh, Megayur with the uh, Nerus tires. They are working real well. They look pretty nice as well. Yeah. We are now at uh, Shell Koppang. So um, I was debating whether I should stop here or try to aim for uh, uh, Hanestad, right? But um, I chose this one. Uh, I arrived with 25%. If I try to stretch for uh, Hanestad, I will probably arrive with 5%, which is not optimal for charging speed uh, because the voltage is low. And then the advantage with Kopang is that it's right by the highway. So I want to pick locations like this right by the highway. Uh, for instance, Kinset, no, bad idea. Too far away from the highway. You have to drive like 10 minutes off the highway. Um, so 25% is uh, not too bad. So I have to just... Okay, what is that? Hakkapolita R3. Ooh, nice. Yeah, studless tires. Nuke and Hakkapolita R3. Um, and it goes fast. You see? Uh, you gain 4 kilowatt hours after 5 minutes something, so 37% um, already. We have to leave at 70, about 77%. Uh, uh, next one is Arndal, which is only 70, about 75 kilometers from here. So this car, if I charge to 82%, I can usually do about 100 kilometers, maybe even 110, 120. But the next one is you know, 140 kilometers from the previous. So 140 is a little bit uh, too far. So yeah, the sweet spot here seems to be 100, 120 kilometers in this race. Normally you could push it a bit further, uh, but we don't have time for that. 
yeah so um now i will eat talk to the people on live stream and uh then after just 10 15 minutes then we have to go again <sighs> but okay by the way let's let me show you the car yeah i haven't had time for that so this one is the the uh, what's it called again um the uh, x no, it's the top spec car. Was it exclusive or something? I don't remember. Or executive. But it has a leather seat, ventilated seats, heated seat, heated steering wheel. It has. Hold on, let me just. It has a panorama roof. Oh, yeah. It has almost all the goodies that uh, the IPS has, except that uh, it doesn't have adaptive cruise control. It, it doesn't have auto steer. <laughs> yeah, but you have plenty of space in the back here. Look, nice space in the back, lots of headroom. Yeah, but as for trunk space, uh, no. This is a trunk space. It's tiny, well, a tiny ish, but it's very tall. And you can take out these things and then you free up lots of space. Yeah, so that is possible. This is a, this is fun. This is a, Partial shelf. It's the tiniest. It's Asian sized partial shelf. Look here. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, let's see. I'm going to present that right now. So it should say here 42% already. Shit. We have 78% now. Um, so the next one is just 74 kilometers away, but just to be sure, I will push it to 82%. Uh, I believe there is a break point in charging speed at 77%, and then a second one at 82%. So at 82% is where you want to unplug, and then 77 when, yeah, you if you know that, if you know for sure, you can go to the next one. But I don't know this car too well yet, so that's why I'm taking some some safety precautions. But I guess on the return, once I know this car better, then I can um, I can ninja uh, better. Yeah. So let's wait for 82 percent. And oh, it's all, almost there already. We are on the move again. This is um, fall or autumn in uh, Norway. Everything is yellow. Yeah. Winter is coming. Brace yourself. Okay, um, so uh, I just left with 81 or 82 percent. I don't remember. I have plenty of juice now to go to the next one. And Pavel, he is now a sitting duck. Oh, sorry for that. At the um, uh, at the uh, harness So you know, I will pass him soon. In like half an hour, 25 minutes, I will pass <laughs> Pavel. <laughs> but that doesn't mean that I'm in the lead. No, 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 because he's charging now. He's going to charge, charge, charge. Then I pass him, and then I have to charge, and then he passed me. <laughs> yeah. But a nice drive here, okay. Not too shitty weather yet, but it will be tonight. Oh. We are passing by Hanestad, and uh, Pavel should be over there somewhere. Yes, there is! I saw him! <laughs> oh. <laughs> but I'm not in the lead because he has more energy than me. Oh. So uh, I have no idea who is in the lead right now. Okay, we are still charging in Hamasta. We are at 84%. We've been here for whooping 66 minutes. I'm leaving at 85 and that will hopefully give me enough range to reach uh, the next charger at Moholt, Shell Moholt, which is 229 kilometers away. Uh, right now the GOM says 282, so I should have around 50 kilometers in, in margin. Yeah, let's hope the GOM is, uh, is correct. This is uh, Arvdal and uh, we have 39% left, but uh, this is the, the only best solution to stop here because uh, the next one ahead there is in Tynset, which is a detour from the main road. And then the next one after that one is Kvikne, which is too far away. <laughs> oh, so we have to do a quick top up here. Uh, 39, this is like 15 minute top up maybe. Yeah, Pavel is behind me right now, but he might pass me while I'm charging. Yeah, most likely he will pass me. Oh. Oh yeah, we are charging now. 
Uh, I've been lucky on this trip so far. I didn't have to wait for charging. Uh, if I had to wait for charging, then it, that might mess up the, 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 the battle. But uh, Powell is about 5-10 minutes behind me right now and he has a lot of energy. You see? In the beginning, you know, um, the iPace has about 80 kilowatt hour, right? This one has 30 kilowatt hour. So that means that from the start he had a 50 kilowatt hour advantage. But we did a calculation uh, recently and now it seems like uh, his advantage has been reduced to 10, no, sorry, by 10 kilowatt hours. So his, his advantage is about 40 kilowatt hours now. So I have to slowly eat up his advantage by going to Trondheim and back again. <laughs> And I'm averaging uh, about 190 watt per kilometer now because of the uh, wet road. Um, so he, I think he averages like 250. Uh, so I came here with 38% and I only need a quick top up. And the next one would be uh, Balkok. So oh, it's only 48%. Yeah. Wow. So I gain. 10% in uh, 6 minutes. Oh, that's fast. So that means um, 50, 67, uh, 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 about 15 more minutes here. Yeah, quick bath. Hmm, so nice weather here. It's not raining uh, in Aldal. This is a small place, small town, maybe. Uh, we have we have slight tailwind or side wind. Yeah, we have some tailwind on the way up, but then we will have headwind on the way back. <laughs> so I guess um, I can go to the restroom. I have lots of restroom stops on my trip. <laughs> Unlike Powell, who has to hold it for the longest time. I, can, I should at least wait for him to pass. Yeah, let me see. Where, how far away is he now? Uh, let's see it here that um, he is... Okay, uh, zoom out here. Okay, he's he's over there, all right, and I'm 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 there. Whoa, he's almost here. Whoa. Okay. So let's just go inside. You, what you want to do when you when you stop for charge like this, you want to keep the car running because then you keep the air conditioning running. Uh, yeah. Uh, nice. And look, look, look. Okay. okay. So uh, just for like. For the view now, when I'm when I'm stopped, uh, I open the the panorama roof. It's nice and it gets like nice and bright in here. Yeah. Whereas if I close it, it would be somewhat dark. But during driving, I close it because uh, I don't want that chill effect over my head, and I want yeah, I want that extra insulation. So, um, well, but uh, let me uh, do a drive-by shot of Powell. <laughs> okay. Look. He's getting close. He's doing 73 kilometers per hour. And I can hear some fans in the back there. Uh, this car is not that sophisticated. It has, well, it has air cool battery. So it just dumps the heat somewhere. Uh, but at least it has active cooling. So it can, uh, it can just stay in high speed and s several fast chargers. This is my third fast charging session for the day. Well, let's see, let's watch how on. We should be here soon. Where is he? Let's stand by the road. Watch him. Oh, there he is! There he is! That's Powell! <laughs> That's Powell! <laughs> okay, it's not over yet. No, it doesn't matter that he passes me now. What matters is how much energy I can consume compared to him. So let's see now. Just this is out of curiosity how many minutes behind he was. If you look here, 13 minutes. Oh, okay. Hmm. Let's try to calculate um, energy based on that. Okay, so let's say 13 minutes and 13 point. Okay. So if you do this, uh, there, 9.85, okay, 9.9 .9 divided by 13.5 times 60. You see, oh, that's it? That's kind of low. It's 44. I'm getting about 40-ish 
kilowatt. Hmm. Should be 45. Okay, I have to charge to 70. Oh, you know what? I have to leave soon. I have to start charge to... No, I have to charge to 82%. Yeah. Just to make sure I can get to uh, bike crew. But, whew, whew, this is getting interesting. <laughs> wow, look at that snow. That's the Tron Mountain. Yeah, Tronefjelle. It's called Tron Mountain. It's uh, 1,666 meter over sea level. Yes. Nice weather over here. It's um, the surface is almost dry, hmm. and I'm only nine minutes behind Powell. But uh, I'm not sure how. Um, it. I mean, it depends how many, <laughs> how many percent he is at. So I'm guessing that he left with 85 percent, and he probably consumed only like 15 to get there. So he still has 70 percent. Yeah. Hmm. We shall see then. Just a quick uh, update. We are climbing up the mountains. Um, we are cruising at pretty low speed, so the consumption is pretty low. It's 250, and um, we our state of charge is at 60 percent, and the gas meter says 197 kilometers left. And we have 155 to Shell Moholt in Trondheim. So at the moment, everything looks fine. We are climbing the mountains. Uh, yes, getting close to the highest point on the journey, 733 meters over sea level. We have snow here. Temperature is uh, two degrees Celsius. I'm at 196 watt hour per kilometer. Uh, Pavel is a bit ahead of me, but I, I heard from live stream that uh, uh, he's at 255 watt per kilometer. Yeah, so he has higher consumption than me, and he's at uh, was it 58 percent? My state of charge is down to 75 percent now, roughly. So, uh, mm, yes, status update. So up in the mountains here, uh, this, <laughs> look at all those trees. These are bird trees and some other trees, but uh, the leaves are gone. The leaf is gone. <laughs> no, the leaves are gone. So um, uh, up here, um, winter comes early. Like we are just in the beginning of um, o o October, and it's still like this. So oh, down there in uh, in Oslo. Winter usually arrives in around, like almost in December, but here maybe up to one to two months before the southern parts. You know this car is so quiet. It's so nice to drive. We're cruising at 90 kilometers an hour, and you know I can barely hear the road. You know, very nice cruising car. With great seats. These are actually sport seats. Yeah. With proper side uh, We are at Barikok uh, Charger, topping up before uh, heading for turn point in uh, Trondheim. Car works great, very comfortable. Uh, we arrived here with a state of charge of about 42%. Yeah, we've been charging here for one minute. Uh, and look how close I parked to the booth. <laughs> I'm like almost touching the concrete here, you know. And look at the cable. <laughs> you can play guitar on this cable, you know. I barely managed to 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 put it in here. Just a quick video of the car. 
very nice. Nice, nice uh, 19 inch wheels from uh, Mega U with uh, winter tires, studless winter tires, tires from uh, Nerus. Very nice and aggressive uh, front. Nice big trunk. Beautiful interior. And leather sport seats. Oh yeah. They are actually very comfortable to sit in. Sorry for the mess. <laughs> and here comes a guy I know. He calls himself Kastabian. <laughs> <laughs> we are in Bikok and we are together again in Bikok. It's so so funny. <laughs> oh, there's uh there's someone with a Tesla I knew me, yeah. But um, yeah, <laughs> we tend to meet at Bailkok. <laughs> so Pavel, he's inside now. Uh, unfortunately for him, he can't keep the car running and keep the heater running. So, but I can keep the car on. For him, every time he exits, then the car kind of like shuts off. Yeah. So um, if you see here, he arrived with 42 percent or something like that. Yeah, I think it was 42 percent. And he's at 51. I'm at um, 33. I came with, what is it, 25%? Um, so um, I, did a, I did a quick math now, and uh, he leads, he has a lead of about 30 kilowatt hours. It was 50 in the beginning, and now it's, I've slowly eaten up his lead. So 30 kilowatt hours. Uh, if I keep going, I might be able to catch him <laughs> towards the end. <laughs> um, so right now I'm waiting for Pavel. Uh, yeah, he's going to the restroom and probably grabbing something to eat. And uh, you see, yeah, there's you see inside. I'm not sure if he left the key here or not, but um, that's his streaming stuff. Uh, those seats, oh, nice. Yeah, well, let's go inside. It's, it's, it's cold. <laughs> So I'll go inside and wait for him. And I have to write the numbers. Um, I write for every leg here, like, uh, it was 25 something when we came here, right? Um, 161, he averaged 220 or something. Yeah, or maybe 210, I'm not sure, but uh, he is about 50 watt hour per kilometer higher than me. 50 or maybe even 60, I'm not sure. All right, hmm. Look at the interior, guys. The steering wheel, very nice steering wheel. It's of course heated. You can steer uh, autopilot and your cruise control from it, and all the other stuff. You have memory seats over here. Nice sound system. Ambient ambient lightning and. The doors and door pockets, head on display, nice panoramic uh, roof, oh, it, this is so stressful, we are at 62% already and um, I have to leave at 82%, that goes fast, so I have maybe like five I'm not sure five or ten minutes left before I hit 82% so I bought this yes my pocket this is the best deal it cost um, only 29 nook it's 15 nook per slice if you buy some of the other stuff there it's like overpriced but uh, this is standard food at at uh, shell so two slices of bread mmm 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 Good stuff, yeah. Uh, I just finished eating and we are 81%. We're gonna leave soon. 
Uh, so I'm still charging, right? I'm, I'm about to leave and Powell is charging. So it looks like I have a lead, but it's actually not. I don't have a lead yet, even because I leave early. Because if you count here, do the math here, I have 24 kilowatt hours in my car, whereas Powell has 56 kilowatt hours. So he has more than, well, he has about 32 kilowatt hours more than me. So, <laughs> yes, 80%, let's leave. Oh, I have to try to uh, eat up <laughs> his lead somehow. You know, before we went for the trip, I tried to use the hands-free trunk uh, opening thingy, you know, and I couldn't uh, get it to work. Now I'll try again. Oh yeah, first time. You know, before I tried to do it like this, that don't work at all. You can stand like this in five minutes, nothing happens. You have to do this. You just have to find a spot. We are now in Sturgeon and um, consumption is very low because we've gone downhill, yeah. <laughs> 114 watts per kilometer. And I have still 72%, so I only spent 11% going down here. Uh, probably just unplugged. Uh, I gave him some hint that, uh, yeah, I mean, after all, we are, we are racing the cars together and he, he's not too experienced. He doesn't have all the insight in uh, jack charging curve. So uh, we checked it and it turns out that uh, he wants to go to Trondheim and back again and then go all the way to Arndal. That's 275 kilometers. Uh, he can make it if he push it to um, 88, 89%. So even at 89%, it charges at 40 kilowatt, which is very impressive. Yeah, so that is uh, very is valuable information to Powell that uh, if he needs to push it, then he can charge you 89 percent, still be fine. All right, we just um, left the charger in uh, Balkok. I, I charged to 88 percent, and. Uh, that gives me around 327 kilometers. So that should be enough all the way to Moholt and back to Aldal again. If not, I will have to charge a little bit in uh, Krikna. This is exciting. Bjorn left uh, about. 10 or 15 minutes uh, before me. We are now in Trondheim. It is raining a lot here. Oh, uh, my consumption is still low, 134. Uh, and um, we still have 51%, but I don't want to be tricked by that. Uh, because it's. it could seem like we can make it back to Baikou, but uh, uh, we have to climb the mountain on the way back. <laughs> so. Um, we have to see if uh, Shell Mohort is available. If it's available, then I'll top up just 10 minutes, the 10 50 minutes, just to be safe. Because uh, with this rain and with this poor aerodynamics on the, on the soil, then I don't want to risk of running out or have to go to um, uh, Stöden. So, uh, yeah, oh, look at this weather. Blah. We are getting close to our point of. Um Return, Shelmuholt. It's about uh, 35 kilometers from uh, here where I'm now. It takes around 33 minutes to get there. My state of charge is 78 percent, and uh, my consumption is at 182. dark and the interior of the car looks amazing. It's so nice to look at. So I'm enjoying this 100%. <laughs> well done Jag. All right this is the end point on this uh, race. Yeah Shell Mohort. I chose this one I mean, this is the same route we take on every all the races because uh, 
then sometimes we have an option to stop here and use up, go to the restroom or whatever. Uh, most of the time we just pass by here. Uh, probably we just take a U-turn here and go back again. But I need to charge here because of the circumstances. So um, I arrived here with 48% and already now we have... Oh, let's see. Uh, let's get into the car. Oh, nice in here. Oh, yes. Sanctuary. So it was 48 when we arrived and now it's um, it's 54 and we will juice up to uh, 82. Yeah, 82 is the magic number. <laughs> um, yeah, so um, still on the live stream there. Powell, where is Powell now? Uh, he's behind. Well, I mean, like uh, travel wise, it looks like he's behind, but he's still ahead of me energy wise. See? Because now I'm, I have to juice up here. Oh, it stopped. Oh, no, it crashed again. That happens from time to time that it crashes. How to restart this? Uh, come on. Oh, close. I might have to restart the phone again. Glimpse. Yeah, we use this Glimpse app to see. Yeah, now it's buggy. Ah, oh, shit. I have to restart the phone. Okay. Restart. Go. And we are just by Shell Wuholt in Trondheim and uh, Björn left this uh, charger here for about four or five minutes ago so there's the charger oh yeah there's a gas station so we are half away now I have to reset all my treat meters and uh, head home. My state of charge is 67%. Uh, my average consumption is 200 uh, watt hours per kilometer. So let's reset. A little bit more. And there. And let's catch Bjorn. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, we're just cruising along now. 7.30 at night, playing the music. Yeah, <laughs> nice ride with the Kia Soul. And here you see the lights. Uh, the low beam is somewhat dim, but then the full beam is nice and powerful. Yeah, I like the full beam here. It's just halogen, but it's uh, a bit bright. Yeah, so of course, I guess LED or, uh, or the xenon lights would be more expensive, but this also works. Oh, yeah, see, and nowadays it's very dark outside, no snow, and everything. It's like it's almost like it absorbs all the light. We are now back in Baltkok, uh, so I'm charging in Baltkok, and there's an e golf charging there, and then Powell, he's coming. There, 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 there's Pavel, he's blinking at me. <laughs> oh, he passes me. Woo. <laughs> yes, that's Pavel. Let's see, I'm swimming there. The eye pace. Oh, so focus, focus, come on. There. Yeah, so um, Pavel, he's going for... Uh, he's going straight for Aldal. Oh, shit. Um, so according to his calculation, if he averaged... 265 watt per kilometer. He will, um, he will arrive with under uh, with seven percent, no five percent, which is safe in that car. I've even taken it down to three percent, and I'm still charging here. <laughs> oh. Okay, so, but I guess my pit stops. I have to go to the restroom and stuff. Yeah. All right. Let's figure out something. All right. I just passed. Um drove past Kvikna charger and um, I'm heading for Aldal. Oh yeah! <laughs> I'm drafting be behind this uh, milkman, you know, he's driving in uh, good speed, so it fits my uh, plan. Alright, this is the exit to Tynset. Yes, uh, we're getting close to Aldal. And uh, how are we looking energy-wise? Uh, 31% left. Ooh, wow, look at this. Consumption has dropped to 187. And it's, it still keeps dropping. And the wind here is not that strong as around, uh, around uh, Kvikne. 
Yeah, they have slight downhill towards uh, Ormdon, uh, so yeah, and, uh, uh, Powell is about uh, 15, uh, 10, about 10 minutes ahead of me. So he's also going for Ardon. <laughs> we will meet again in Ardon. Oh yes. Great news! We just arrived Ardon. Who? We we came here with 10 percent. 10 percent. That's awesome. And uh, we averaged 203 uh, watt hour per kilometer by drafting this truck. You know, <laughs> the milkman. Yeah, we arrived here with 32, uh, 31 kilometers uh, left on the gum, or let's say 30. Yeah, it was 30 actually. So 10% and 30 kilometers left, and we are charging. Whoo! That's great news. Bjorn is uh, about five minutes away from here, so. I will save this the spot for him. <laughs> let's ho let's hope no one comes here. Look at this sexy car. It's so nice. And look at all the schmutz. This time I parked, you know, almost inside the <laughs> booth. <laughs> and the cable uh, it's at the perfect length here. We are now in Arvdal. Yes, this is the iconic bridge. I think it can change color. Yeah, it's just an LED matrix. Uh, so, um, according to the live stream, uh, Pavel is charging over there. Yeah, I see him. Oh, let's meet up. <laughs> uh, I want to have some proper food this time. Maybe like a burger even. No, 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 I can't have burger. I don't have time for burger. Oh, oh we have some Rona over there. Okay, but let's, let's plug it in. Yes. Oh, this is the second, probably the second and last time we meet. Uh, first time was in Aldon. No, the first time was in uh, Balkok and the second time here. But I think from here, we'll just be random where we go. Oh, so, um, but it seems that I've been gaining a lot on Pavel because you see now we are on the same spot so now it boils down to how much energy each car has and if you see here he's at 17% all right so 17% out of 80 kilowatt hours let's see I'm not sure what happened here if you take 0.17 oh, no, 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 okay. let's do this 0.17, right, times 80 is 13.6 kilowatt hours. And if you look at my car, okay, let's say it was 22, I mean, it was 20 kilowatt hours, yeah, uh, just now. Okay, so he, he had 13.6, right? And if I take 0.2 times 30, I'm six. What? I'm only seven kilowatt hours behind him now. How, do, how did that happen? It was 30 kilowatt hours before Trondheim, and then suddenly... Wait a minute... We have headwind. Yeah. So maybe the Jag suffers more from the headwind than the, um, the soul, I'm not sure. So, um... Oh, that car is so dirty now. <laughs> but we need some proper food here. Yes, I need to grab food. Uh, I have about uh, 25... Yeah, 20... 25 minutes here, so I have to get some food. Oh, and he has to stop only one more time, uh, probably around Espa. Yeah, we're, they've been discussing it. He needs one more stop. I need three more stops, and every stop also costs time because I have to stop, plug in, plug in, and all that. So, well, okay, let's go inside. Yeah. Oh, we're now at the gas station. Oh, so we. I went for this one. I, I don't have time for Bergen, and you didn't want Bergen. Yeah, I will fall asleep. We'll be pass. Out. Yeah, I'll pass out. <laughs> oh, it's, it's ten, and we are still in Arndal. <sighs> oh yeah. Oh. It's going to be a long night. <laughs> yes. Uh, um, well, we are three hundred kilometers 
away from home, right? Yeah. And I know, I know that you will average 70 kilometers per hour, including charging time. Yeah. So that's four hours, uh, roughly. Yeah. Oh, so like two o'clock? Two, two thirty. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Oh, good food. Yeah. Mm. 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 Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, we had food, we were talking inside, and then when they come out, um, I'm at 82%. I'm going to go 83%. I should leave now. And Pavel is still at 43%. So you have to stay here another. <laughs> but I mean. You have to stay another 20, 25 minutes and oh look yeah. at that headwind! But well, I have the jag, you know, so I have the whole time in the world. <laughs> <laughs> but I have to stop three more times and he has only one stop. Oh, I have to unplug and get the heck out of here. <laughs> yeah, all right, see you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> yes, we are running! We're running away from uh, the eye face. <laughs> yes, party party. <laughs> Oh man, it's almost 11 p.m. We are still live streaming. We are charging at Alvdal. And uh, we just gained around 50 kilowatt hours. Yeah, we've been here for one hour now. We have a stereo charge uh, of 70%. And yeah, we will uh, fill up up to 88 percent uh, from here we are going to <coughs> Espalon Espa Bolelon <laughs> and from there we will uh, drive straight to Furuset yeah so that's the plan I changed the ambient lightning to orange brownish yeah, it fits the interior even better. And we are soon good to go. <laughs> All right, this is Hanestad. I'm listening to some reggae. We have 64% left and the consumption is 165. Oh yeah, good stuff. <laughs> All right, still at Alvdal. We are at 86%, so we will be leaving any minute now. Um, we'll be charging to 88%. We've been here for, let's see, 76, 77 minutes. And we gained 62 and a half kilowatt hours. Uh, yeah, 86%, so we will be here to 82% Then we can hammer it to Espa on the motorway with the headwind and uh, with the rain and whatever nature throws at us, it should be enough Yeah, I can average around uh, like 300 um, watt hours per kilometer and still have a margin at Espa So yeah Let's get ready. We are getting close to Shell Kopang, but I will not stop here because uh, I still have 45% left. So I will go for oh, a donation. I will read that later. But there's a donation coming in at the live stream. But Powell just disconnected. Uh, let me try to zoom in there. Yeah, sorry. Okay, there you go. So, Pavel just unplugged at 88%. 88% uh, seems to be a good deal because he's still charging at 45 kilowatt when he unplugs at 88%. And, uh, you know, now it seems like I'm way ahead, right? But I did some quick math and uh, uh, at 88% he has 70 kilowatt hours. I have 14 kilowatt hours. So he's loaded with energy compared to me. And I still have to stop and every time I stop, he will gain on me again. <laughs> so I have no idea who will win. I'm not, I'm not sure who's leading right now. 
<laughs> this is what makes this this kind of races so fun. Oh, we are now in Rena. Yeah, uh, it is uh, 15 minutes past midnight. Oof. Yeah, Oof. and uh, we are charging. So um, I chose the ABB charger. I could choose between ABB charger and the tritium charger, and the tritium is somewhat. Uh, I don't like the tritium because the char the ca cable is co short. ABB has longer cable, so. And ABV seems to be usually more stable. So um, I came here with 7% and I did a very long drive. It was 135 kilometers. That's the longest leg I have done today. The second longest was uh, 100 and 120 so far. So, um, yes. Anyway, uh, the next stop will be Espa, which it will also be Powell stop, so we keep bumping into each other. In, we keep bumping into each other. <laughs> Let me go inside. It's it's somewhat cold outside. Oof. Go in there. Oh, that's nice, nice, nice. Okay, and then turn on the lights. All right. So, um, yeah, what happened to that? Oh, the live stream kind of froze. Shit. Wait, there, there we go. But yeah, actually, I'm still uh, handling with the live, dealing with the live stream. So 30% now. Uh, I estimate we have to just to be sure we can charge to 82%. We've been charging the 82% every time now. Uh, some people say that 75 or something is also uh, fast, but uh, I feel like that extra three minutes I wait for 82 is a nice safety here. Yeah. Yeah, so nice and warm in here. Oh, yeah. Just want to go home now. Oh. We have been here half an hour. We went from, well, from 7% to close to 77 now uh, in half an hour. Not too bad, but um, Pavel is about, well, he's like, um, he's about five, 10 minutes away from me now. <laughs> so I can leave very soon. But the question is, yeah, <laughs> how much do we need to charge? Oh, it's getting very exciting. What the heck is going on with... Look at this. I think I have to restart again. Oh, all right, let's restart. Okay, restart. And uh, uh, yeah, I better unplug soon. Uh, this is where I believe the first breakpoint is at 77 or something. And then the next breakpoint is at 82. So uh, yes, let's uh, wait for 82 and unplug. Oh, we are now in uh, Alvedum. And Powell is just five and a half minutes behind me. <laughs> yes, uh, here is a supercharger to the left. We will not stop there, none of us can use it. We have to hammer for uh, the other fast chargers. This is the pink bridge today. <laughs> okay, finally we hit the motorway. And now we can hammer it full speed. I will um, reset the trip meter because I need to know how much we consume on the motorway. Hmm, let's see, very little traffic here today. Yes, let's hammer it. Oh shit! <laughs> uh, I skipped Nebene. I, I skipped Espa. I'm going for Nebenes. Uh, this should work. We have 22, uh, GOM says 22 uh, kilometers left and we have 11 kilometers from Nebenes. And uh, Pavel also skipped Nebenes. <laughs> Pavel is also going for Nebenes. He also skipped Espa. <laughs> oh. 
Yes, so we will meet in uh, Nebanes and figure out because I, I will be almost out when I get there, but he will still have 15% left. So whoever leaves there will win. <laughs> Given that they have enough juice, of course. <laughs> oh, there's Powell. We are here in Nebanes. A supercharger. There's no Teslas charging here. I'm juicing up. <laughs> here it comes. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> ah, okay, more, 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 more. Let me see. Let me see. More, more, more. Okay, yeah. Just, you can use this one. Yeah, you can use this one. Good, good, good. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> shit. <laughs> well, okay, yeah, yeah, we plug it in. Oh. This is going to be so close! I came with 9%! Oh, I have... I don't know how much I am. I think it's... around 9 as well. Oh, oh no, shit, the CCS here is... Oh. You have to move oh, the car. Okay. CCS is broken. <coughs> shit, okay. I forgot about that one. Oh, okay, let's see. Okay, you have, oh, to, I have uh, to... move the car. Is it this CCS? Yeah, but... Uh, the problem with this... Uh, oh, you see? It's okay. Can you... Can like... Yeah. Oh, 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 nice, nice, nice. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, how many percent do you have? I think it's around nine on mine as well. Nine? But nine for you is 27 for me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is super... What's, what's happening with this? What the heck? Oh, okay. This is, slow. This is why I avoid the, the, the tritium chargers. They're so slow. Why is that? Yeah, it's nine percent. Nine! <laughs> we both came with nine percent. <laughs> 29 kilometers. Yeah, okay, um... <laughs> I, have, I have calculated I need uh, 60 percent. Okay, okay. I'll, then I will arrive with 10 percent. Okay, I haven't calculated anything yet, so I have to... Oh, all right. I have to find out. Yeah, okay, let me talk to the uh, live stream. Um, so, we're sitting here now in the Kia, <laughs> just <laughs> looking at the state of charge. Uh, because... Um, well, let me show you here. All right, okay, uh, there, there, there. The I-Pace is at 19% now. And it goes fast. The I-Pace charges faster than me. So, he's at 19%. He needs... 26 or 25 I'm at 46% but I need 60 Ooh, I need 14 more percent he needs 6 more percent <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's at 20 now 20 uh, <laughs> oh, oh, 20 6 percent more 14 percent more mm. yeah I will not steal your okay I'm at 59 percent I could leave now 59. Pavel is at 25. Pavel is at 25. We will we will hit. This is <laughs> he will hit 26, and I will hit 60. <laughs> oh, okay, let's leave then. Okay, we are hammering it at the maximum allowed speed. We have no traffic now. It's uh, 2:30 at night, and he is ahead of me. Um, so. I think he has enough, but there is one small hope I have, which is that, well, let me reset, by the way, that he consumes more than expected, and that he has to slow down. Just like what happened with the Ampere E. We will see. <laughs> we will see. Yes. Okay. <laughs> this is why um, he forgot to close the charge port, and... Uh, now they, they already bad the aerodynamic just gotten a little bit worse with <laughs> the charge port is kind of close but not completely close. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a nice looking car though. Yeah, I have to agree. Okay, there goes the I pace. Yes. Yeah, let's ride together to the finish line like brothers. <laughs> Left lane hugger. <laughs> yeah, there's like no traffic here at night. <laughs> this is so close. This is a crazy race. Beard. <laughs> Beard is just behind me. Uh, we are doing exactly the same speed, both of us. And uh, we are heading for IKEA in Furuset. Uh, my state of charge is 13%. And, uh, 
I have 38 kilometers left. Um, it's about 20 left to IKEA. So <laughs> this is so close. Uh, yeah, now we have uh, the camera there and the live stream there <laughs> simultaneously. <Yep. laughs> but wow, this was quite epic race again. <laughs> again, it was so even, like towards the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was completely the same. Yes, but okay. I mean, you were unlucky in this morning with the traffic light. Yeah. Yes, you you lost five minutes there. Yeah, mm -hmm. about five minutes. And what else? And then, oh, okay, you messed around with the cable. I also messed around with the cable. Yeah, and I messed around in Moholt around the roundabout. Oh, that that's, was that's that, nothing. That's like ten and seconds. And then on Nevernes, it's like maybe one minute. Yeah, I so shouldn't. yeah, not so much. Yeah, <laughs> but okay, well, okay. So you could say that yes, you could have arrived five minutes before me. Then. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, yeah. um, a race. I mean, last time mm -hmm. in the Kona. Then I had problems with the charger also. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so this is like, you know, there's so much stuff that can happen during a long day. Oh yeah, 16 hours is oh. a lot of time. <laughs> yeah, a lot of things can go wrong. So I, I would probably just call this a, a tie. You know, no, yeah. no car won. We yeah, came yeah. together. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow, this is so, so cool. What, what was your consumption, by the way, in the last leg? Uh, 290. 234. Okay. Well, I was kind of drafting behind you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, 290. Okay. Uh, when, when we were cruising in the 110 zone, it was 315. <laughs> but in the 80 zone, yeah. it was 290 something. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Cool. Yeah. And I felt the wind, you know. It, it yeah. was blowing like Just crazy. This this car too, like. Whoosh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But wow. Okay. Nice. Um, uh, by the way, so what do you think about the I Pace? I think it's a great car. Mm -hmm. uh, I like it a lot. It looks great. It drives very well. Uh, it has amazing seats. Yeah, you like the seats. I'm. Right? You know, uh, this is the best Trondheim uh, trip. I had yeah. uh, <laughs> ever had, you know. Uh, Wait a minute. What about Optimus Prime? I think the seats are better than, than Optimus Prime. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, Sorry. I have to. But <laughs> you should have tried the standard seat because these bucket seats are like yeah, yeah. standard seats are softer and yeah, yeah, yeah adjustable headrest. Yeah, yeah. So um, you know, okay, it's a little bit difficult to operate, and you know, a lot of things. Oh, the infotainment. Yeah. yeah. And it's a bit slow, uh, but I guess they can uh, fix this by software. Yeah, they updates, can. Hmm. I guess so. Uh, you know, it's not. Uh, it's like it's it's fix it's fixable. Mm -hmm. uh, very good quality overall. Very nice and solid car. What do you think about the, the noise? And the noise level was super low. <laughs> I oh. mean, it was amazing. Because you have an AP2 car, Model X. Yeah, yeah, and you know, it's kind of, uh, it's yeah. kind of good, you know, but the Jag <laughs> beats hmm. the AP2 what? version by far, I think. But, okay, um, we had the Nereus tires, they are yeah. very silent. Ah, okay. They are okay. more silent than the Nokian tires. I, I, I never heard any tire hmm. noise at all. Yeah, they... no, no wind, no nothing, you know. Mm. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, you you probably you had a very comfortable ride, and like me. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> I mean, okay, the <laughs> Kia is you get lots of like good value for money with mm. the Kia mm. because you can buy three Kias. This this one, yeah. this one is two hundred eighty k roughly, mm. and then the the I Pace is eight hundred fifty. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but um, the comfort here is not the best, um, but it's still, you know, and it, it lacks like adaptive cruise control. Yeah, it doesn't collision even, warning. It, yeah, it yeah. doesn't even have automatic wipers, just oh. interval. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so, wow. but you know, they are coming with an update with key, the, this new soul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so, I, 
I heard one guy was in uh, Korea, you know, and he told me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, all right, but anyway, uh, good match. Yeah, good Thanks. game. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for letting me drive this uh, uh, awesome car. Yeah. That was cool. Yeah. So, are you, do you, are you, are you going to sell your Tesla and get an iPace? I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I think now a bit it's late, so we better get going. So, um, yeah. Anyway, um, thank you guys for watching. This was a nice um, race. Yeah. So uh, let's figure out something else for next time. Yeah. Let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the e-tron. Mm. E-tron. Yeah. 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 E-tron versus uh, eyepiece. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I will see. <laughs> So, okay, but anyway, I think that'll be it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So, talk to you later. Bye.